market trend. Changes in energy technologies take time, sustained investment, and stable policies. Even in this age of budget austerity, we need to ensure that we continue to invest in clean energy. Dr. Lisa Alexander, a chief investigator from Australia, studies climate change and climate extreme. This is her words on global warming in Australia and the world. CO2 concentrations have increased 40% since pre-industrial times. Human activities reveal the clear effect on climate change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change states that human influence has been dominating climate change. The atmosphere and oceans have warmed greatly and the amounts of snow and ice have diminished. So now we know that climate change is happening. But what are the consequences? What will happen to our Earth? Well, climate change is and will continue to have a profound effect on the climate and our ecosystem. Here are six changes that are a direct result of global warming. Plants need carbon dioxide to survive. They use CO2 to make sugar and produce oxygen. Polluted CO2 can result in the plants inhaling it and in which is basically like inhaling poison for them. Water vapor evaporated into the ozone layer can result in extreme weather changes and damaging of houses and ecosystems. Heavy rainstorms can occur causing severe floods. Flooding slows down plant growth and causes erosion of plants and crops. And most importantly, floods will put human lives at risk, and massive floods and tsunamis like the 2004 Sumatra tsunami, will become more common. Global warming will cause severe health problems like heat strokes and bad fevers. Global warming is heating up our Earth to dangerous temperatures and it is affecting people's health severely. As greenhouse gases continue to be released into the atmosphere, the ozone layer is slowly but surely disappearing greatly increasing the chances of heat stroke and sunburn. Droughts, dry up land and precious water. Lack of water, especially groundwater for coastal communities, will result in a thirsty environment. Animals need water, plants need water, and we need water. Water can be as precious as gold in very poor helpless areas. Without water, humans, plants, and animals will all die. As the climate warms, glaciers are melting, creating more seawater. Since 1870, the sea level has risen 8 inches across all oceans. Several low-lying islands in the Pacific are already at a major risk of being submerged completely, and that risk will only increase if we continue to refuse to act on global warming. Bushfires are created from dry weather and chemicals in the air and have the potential to start major fires. Recent giant fires in Australia showcase how destructive it will be to our climate if the earth continues to warm up at a such rapid rate. So, Dr. Alexander, do you think the recent devastating bushfires in Australia can be attributed to global warming? My colleague, Professor Andy Pittman, said, Australian bushfires have exceeded for quite a while. Currently, 5% of Australian land has been burnt down to the surface. So fire is a natural phenomenon in Australia. Global warming is a huge threat to the general public, although information is misleading. Many people do not understand the true extent of climate change because it is not considered a crucial problem to deal with. Also, I can imagine that people are worried about their jobs and the economy. Limiting climate change will require substantial reductions in greenhouse emissions that will need to be done at a government level. Here is what the President of America, Barack Obama, had to say about this. Do we have the courage to take action on this issue before it's too late? A low carbon clean energy fuel can be the engine of growth and I want to build that for America's future. We must partner up with communities to seek help, to protect habitats, prevent droughts, stop floods, and reduce wildfires. 
Politics will be tough. It always is, but challenges must be accepted sometimes. So what can we do to save our precious planet from global warming? At home, save electricity by turning off lights and appliances when not in use. The easiest way to conserve energy is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And for parents, please drive safely. Use a low fuel gas vehicle and don't use too much gas. Or you could bike and walk more. Now, Congress, officials, and presidents, it is your turn to act on global warming. Enough of delaying it. Global warming is a severe issue and one that must be acted upon immediately. Save our Earth from destruction before it's too late.